All about you, the great British public. Your stories. Ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And here are some of the people you've told us about this week. A schoolboy plucked from obscurity as Britain's answer to Donny Osmond. That was Darren Byrne. Whatever happened to him? But first... Do you, think, do you think your parents know that? Know what? That you want to be, that secretly you would like to be a big star, because, I mean, oh, they... Oh, yes. Do they? Oh, yes. Well, so does anybody, really. Anybody who makes a record wants to be a big star. In love eternally, and then my feet... And then my... In and then my case. feet begins to crumble. In the summer of 73, EMI plucked an 11-year-old choir boy no. from obscurity no. and tried to create a homegrown version of the American prepubescent pop stars dominating the top 20. Some of the music press thought EMI were on to a good thing. Well, he's got a voice, he's got a pretty face, he's got the right ingredients at the right time and he's coming through. Now, he, he has the charisma, effectively, is the word. He is 11 years old, and I wonder whether he's the British answer to Donny Osmond. Time will tell. We think it's a sensation. Something's gotten hold of my heart. And here he is, Darren Byrne, the one we're playing every day. Something's gotten hold of my heart, keeping my soul and my senses apart. You're going to find it difficult to go back to school and back to normality. Well, I don't know whether the record's going to be a hit now. There are two possibilities, going back to school and the record being a hit, or going back to school and just being Darren Byrne again. Which is the best one, do you reckon? I think the record being a hit, although it's going to pro prove a little bit more difficult getting to school <laughs> since it's in the centre of London. Difficult in what, in what way? What do you mean? Well, I normally go on the tube, and if the record is a hit, I'm not going to be able to travel on the tube anymore Why? unless I travel incognito. <laughs> you mean you get mobbed on the tube? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a problem then, it isn't a problem now. 26 year old Darren Byrne, currently an unemployed computer programmer, never rose higher than 60 in the charts, despite all the expensive hype. It, it, it didn't work out particularly well. It didn't uh, make any money for EMI or for me. I mean, I, I went through that experience and I, I had the, the power of a major record company behind me and it didn't work out, you know, so... Uh, I mean, it, it left me with a feeling of failure. It's a very strange thing for a, a young child to go through. It's nice, isn't it? You're quite close. At school, it was yeah, a bit rough. Do. I remember I used to get called top of the flops a lot. You know, to say that was a favourite. And of course, when the records uh, weren't particularly successful, you know, it added uh, fuel to the fire. Did that, did that upset you at the time? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, you know, it's impossible not to get affected by things like that. I mean, I was only a child, and it was the sort of decision that really should have been made by a responsible adult. What, like one of your parents? Well, ideally, yes. <laughs> but um, they, I mean, even now, my mother seems to think that I was perfectly able to make such decisions for myself in a responsible manner at the age of 11. Do you think you were able to? No. He's my son, and I'm very fond of him, obviously, goes without saying. And I would hate to lose him to sort of the big wheels of the pop industry. Are you going to wear the waistcoat? Um. Yeah, I suppose I'd better. It was largely my mother's decision, and uh, she's a very ambitious woman. Um, she wanted to be an actress when she was younger, and it didn't really work out for her. And I think she was living out her ambition through me to an extent. A bit flash. Have you said this to your mum? Oh, it's sure. not going to come as a horrible shock to her. No, it? it won't come as any sort of horrible shock to her, but she doesn't like to discuss it. She, um, 
she sort of avoids the issue, I think. What do you think of, of Darren Byrne? What about Darren Byrne? I'm not a performer, which stood out, um, you know, like a sore thumb at that time. I mean, if you if you see the old film of uh, me performing at Sundown Edmonton, I look like a dead sheep. <laughs> You can't take anybody and make them into a performer, a star. They have to have that innate talent, which I, I don't believe I ever had, not in that respect. I'm being unkind, but I, I don't think it was ever really considered that seriously in terms of what it really meant for me as a child. I certainly wouldn't allow one of my children to do that, should I ever have any. <laughs>